All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. This is Axter99, and in this video, I might just blow your mind, especially if you are uh, as a firm believer as I have been for so long now that pretty much anything made with Game Guru sucks balls. In fact, we're going to go ahead and start this video right now by looking at the Game Guru Steam page where you can buy the Game Guru engine. Now, I have played many dozens of Game Guru games that have all been pretty much the same thing horrible AI enemies, terrible textures. Uh, you know, just bad everything, bad pathfinding, bad collision detection, you know, uh, picking up items that you can't see and it, you know, tells you at the bottom of the screen, hit E to pick up this gun or hit E to pick up this axe or whatever. Uh, we have seen too many bad Game Guru games on Steam. Now, Game Guru is a game making engine that's really meant to help, you know, I think new game developers get a feel for how to create maps and how to create the basics of a functioning game but for a long time now and i like i say guys the the uh best game i've played on steam so far was an old 2d uh game called spiders with three eyes s-p-i-i-i-d-e-r-s -I -I -E and that game scored like a 31%. It was a 2D top-down Game Guru game because Game Guru does allow you to make 2D games, not just 3D. And but that game still had you know enemies, and it still had the same kind of problems we've seen in so many 3D games, where the enemies had ba you know bad AI, uh, bad pathfinding, and uh, even though the developers put a lot of work into that game, it still wasn't good in the end. So I recently reviewed the game guru engine here and i gave it a negative review now if we look at my review for game guru this is a review i just did a few days ago uh, but uh, i kind of linked in my old video from last september when i showed all the example games of you know why game guru sucks and why it's terrible and don't take game guru seriously it's not a serious game making uh engine and should only be used as a learning tool uh, and this, uh, person here, uh, Synchromesh initially earlier this morning had a response saying nice review on how not to use game guru, basically talking about my video that I linked where I had demonstrated lots of bad game guru games. He said, now if OP had spent more than an hour using game guru, he might've been able to show you, uh, you know, how to use the engine properly. Now here in this video, he links a video talking about, you know, somebody showing how to put lighting in on your Game Guru map. And so I immediately responded after I saw this message and said, linking a 15 minute video or tutorial on how to place lighting over your map uh, isn't suddenly going to make a Game Guru game good where there's horrible pathfinding, dumb as hell AI, god awful collision detection and disgusting textures. I said I've played way too many of these Game Guru games, and they all suffer from the same problems. So I said, knock off your bullshit. Game Guru is a terrible engine, uh, and while you could technically work around the built-in fundamental problems built into the engine itself, uh, it'd probably be easier just to go with a different engine altogether, such as Unreal, Unity, or uh, Godot. Now, this person here says, Unknown Nomad, says, uh, I gave Game Room a negative review, but for different reasons but you can make a decent Game Guru game. Uh, and this person here links a game that you can get for free. And I'll have the link down in the description below down here, guys. And uh, www.gameguru.com. But if you look at Protoscope, if we uh, look at this website, it is on the Game Guru site, but it is, look who it's by. It's by Synchromesh, the original person who said that you know, you can make a good uh, Game Guru game and you can download it right here. So I'm just going to have a link to this showcase right here. Now, this is a demo. But when I first played this demo of Protoscope this morning, I was absolutely blown away that after all these bad and terrible Game Guru games on Steam, I had finally found the first really good game guru game that's correct you heard me right the first really good 
Game Guru game built with a Game Guru engine. And I'll be back right after this, and I'll play through the first few levels of this game and show you how this game blows all the other games I've ever played on my YouTube channel away. Again, we'll be back right after this. Alright, welcome back everybody. So when you download the link, and again I'll have the link to this uh, site down below where you guys can go and grab the Protoscope demo and play it completely free yourself. And when you go into this game, guys, you hit log in. Just make sure you hit it once because it does take a minute to load. And then you're going to see this. Look at this. You see the preparing core files. We've seen that a million times with Game Guru games. But look at the font. Look at how everything looks so much different than their typical Game Guru game that we've bought on Steam. Look at this. Protoscope Industries, a completely different, uh, you know, options here in the main menu. We do have four options, but they've actually changed them, or the developer has changed these. we got a nice looking background here. And instead of start, we have login. And that's what you'll want to go ahead and hit to uh, play this. Now if we go to information, we actually have some information about the game. So this is typically where I think the Game Guru default menu says uh, about. This says info. Hi there, I'm the creator of the Protoscope system and your link to the outside world. I'll be monitoring and guiding you as you progress through the system. Firstly, thanks for taking part in this VR experiment. I would like to assure you this whole simulation is perfectly safe and even if there was a problem, we could disconnect you from the interface in an instant, so nothing to worry about there. Secondly, I need to tell you about the environment you're in. Of course, it's not real. It's a total fabrication created by the Protoscope system. Protoscope is a front-end anti-hacker security system and is designed to prevent an unauthorized user from getting into the network by persistently creating more and more complex systems or problems, uh, which also prevent the hacker from leaving, allowing us to trace him to his location and take action. Your job is to try and beat the system. We have heard that you are the best, so this should be interesting. I will give you some helpful tips along the way though. You have already been cleared for access so you can log in whenever you're ready. So we got a Game Guru game that actually changes the default menu here. Gives us information and when we click it, it's not just a blank screen with fact. We actually have some information about the game, some kind of lure and telling you what the game's about. That is really, really cool. This is obviously Quit, I believe, in the Game Guru uh, main menu. They call it Disconnect. Love it. And then if you have a saved game, you can load it here. But if you're just playing this the first time, you're just going to go ahead and hit Login. And instead of the same loading screen that we've seen a million times with other Game Guru games, we see Connecting. And this one loads way quicker. But right here, guys, this right here is where I was blown away look at this we actually have nice looking textures we don't see tearing anywhere this is a game guru game we have custom textures custom signs that fit our game Wow we have a system that actually talks to you. How cool is that? Let's go ahead and go back here, guys. If I hit escape and I go into audio, let's go ahead and turn these audio sliders up. Not music so much, but I want to turn the audio slider way up so you guys can hear this. Let's go ahead and go back. Let's go back to the main menu and let's log in again. Now again, listen carefully, because I was kind of talking when we loaded in the first time, but listen to the uh, voice in the game. Welcome to the Protoscope system interface. Program rebooting in progress. Place the square blocks on their designated pads. Protoscope is now online. How cool is that? This is a Game Guru game, and we can see that by the default UI down in the bottom right. We are familiar with that. Uh, showing how many lives typically that kind of shows 
uh, how many bullets you have. And they've removed the health icon or the health counter in the bottom left. That's just removed because you don't need it here. This is a puzzle game. So we see here, this is a training level, the section layout. Wow. Protoscope. Protoscope. Logic training facility. So we have another sign for Protoscope Industries, just kind of like that one. And we have phase one. We have a door here we can't get through, so we have to open up this door. All right, well, let's go ahead and get to work. Let's put the colored blocks on their lever. That opened that door. Now we have this red block, which we're just going to simply place on this red button. And I believe that will open the door over there that says phase one. It does. Now we see we have a green button over there, so we're just going to go ahead and grab this green block. Remember the first level is meant to be easy to kind of get you used to the controls and how things work. The cubes can activate alternative pads as long as the colors match. Okay, so as long as the colors match, it works, he's basically saying. So now we have a path over here. We have another green button, and we have a door we need to open. We have a yellow button. Well, let's go ahead and grab this yellow block here. Remember, we don't want to move the red block right now because that will close our door. So let's go ahead and grab this one because that just activated that door anyway, which we've already removed the blocks from there. And you can run by holding shift down. Oh, a little bit wobbly. It's all right, though. Take your time. All right, so when we do this, it doesn't open this door, but watch what it does instead. That would help if I had actually put the block on here, right? It creates... Whoa! I... What happened here? Okay, we just had a bug, guys. <laughs> How did I get here? What the hell? <laughs> Alright. So this game is in development, guys. We, we did die somehow. I haven't seen that happen yet. When I played this morning, I didn't see that happen. So we have some kind of a glitch here the developer needs to work on. Don't know how that happened. That was interesting. So, no Welcome problem. The Protoscope system interface. Program rebooting in progress. Place so I'm gonna... the square blocks on their designated pads. Protoscope is now online. I'm going to go ahead and leave that in there just so the developer of this uh, game or demo can, you know, fix it. So maybe he'll see it, and maybe he can fix that little glitch. <laughs> Don't know what happened there, but interesting. Other than that, that's the only bug I've seen in this game so far. Uh, I couldn't get past level 2, but I hope to be able to do that in this video. So we'll see what happens. The cubes can activate alternative pads as long as the colors match. Okay, let's try this again here. Hopefully we won't glitch out and go into a completely different uh, realm. All right, let's be really careful here when we put this on. Okay, it does form a uh, another green path here. And this is what happened the first time I played. Okay, so now we can take this green block because we already got this yellow block creating this path. And we can put the green block here, which should open that door. And now we can take this one because we don't need the green path anymore. And we can place this over here on this button here. And we can proceed. Level complete. Level complete. How cool is that? Now we're loading. I love how the load time in this game is like a fraction of all the load times for all the other games that have a million zombie assets of crap too. Rebooting program. All right. Simulation is activated. All right. So this is the one I I didn't try it for very long when I was playing this earlier today, but uh, I kind of got stuck and had to go. But we're gonna see if we can't beat it this time. All right. So that opened that door. So we have a red block here. Well, it's pretty obvious. We probably want to put that here on this red button. And did that open something? What was it? It opens this door. Okay. So we'll simply place this block and put it on its red button since it matches color. 
And that opened... What did that open? Oh, that opened this one. Okay, we'll continue doing the pattern again. I guess this is going to open the door right across from me. Yep. So now we have two buttons. This block here had opened this door. Hmm. Okay, what happens if I take this block off? Okay, it opens, it closes that block, okay. There we go. All right, so somehow we need to get this door here open. What if we, okay, that isn't gonna help. We need that door open. This one, let's put here. Okay, there we go. Oh, that dropped the blue block. But if I put this over here, will it open that window so we can get to it? It did. Excellent. So we should be able to hopefully pick this up and pull it out. We were able to put, pull it out. Okay, so a blue block has got to be pretty important. It, I think I saw a blue button up here. Aha, I did. So this one is going to open that exit door, guys. I'll bet you anything. Uh, drop. There we go. It did. It opened this door in here. And that should be the exit. Level complete. There we go. Excellent. Right. So again, we got to get right to that right position to have it load, just like a, a, so many Game Guru games where you go to a certain X, Y coordinate, and then it loads in the next level. So now we have a yellow, and does it say Phase 3 somewhere? Rebooting program. For further assistance, you can use the information terminals. Phase 1 still. Your communication link is now live. Okay. I wonder what the uh, battery cell for is for, 10 out of 10. Hmm. Okay, we have blue here. Wait a minute. Purple. That's probably going to open that door over there. Yep. Now if we take the green off, Oh, green one activates that. Okay. Well, let's put... Actually, that's not actually that important because we get the... Hmm. Blue. Okay, put it on the blue button. Oh. Oh, we got another block in here. Okay. And then we shouldn't need this blue block on here anymore. I mean, that just opens that door. We've already got the block we needed out of there. Do we put it in here now? No. That is a green, so you would think you would need the green block, right? Is it going to change this green block into some other color? What is this going to do? Nothing. Well, let's go ahead and put this green block back on its green button here. There's a purple block over here, but that's just where we started. I don't think that's a, a button. Okay, so putting the green block there caused that to go back up. It looks like we might have a door right here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes, we do. So we have to have a green block there to open that door. We get off of it, it closes. I'm assuming neither one of these blocks would work because it is a green button. Yeah, that's not working. Um, blue block. Blue's close to green, right? I wonder if we have to trick it somehow into thinking that it's green. Hmm. 
No, that can't be right. What is this thing anyway? One new message. Oh, okay, a message. Uh, of course, it's total fabrication, create high uh, Yeah, this is the exact same message I already read aloud before we started the game. All right. All right, how to open this uh, door here. Oh, 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 grab this. I don't think this is going to work either, but do that. We'll put this here. No. Hmm. Okay, and it won't drop through because there's glass on top, I do believe. Let go. Let go. Yeah, there's glass on top, so it's not going to drop down, hit that button, and open the door. Hmm. But we were able to stand on that green button, guys, and it opened that door. So what happens if we stand on that green button over there? What'll happen? This might be interesting. Uh, oh, but it fell off. Okay, so we just need to try this again. All right, cool. That's it. We got it now, guys. Let's get this blue one out of our way here. Okay, it just it just bounced off. Okay. Let's try that again. Um. There we go. There we go. We got it. Excellent. And we move on to the fourth level. All right. We got a fancy little thing there. What is that? Okay. So now we can use our purple block that we weren't using right here. We can move in here. And what is this going to do for us? Oh, we got a walkway over there now, okay. We need another purple block, and we should be able to use this one, right? Yeah, because we don't need that door open. Okay. Oops, come here, you. Now we got a walkway over here. What happens if we walk into this? Oh, wow. Okay, and what is this? Hi again, you made it this far well done on that. I did wonder if you would get the hint about things not being completely solid. Uh, you're nearly at the end of this one, so let's see what the system comes up with next. Have a great day. Hey listen, you're not uh, messing about with anything in there that uh, you shouldn't be, are you? Uh, getting some really weird readings out here. Shouldn't be anything to worry about though. All right. Well, what the hell? Um, what is going on here, guys? We're trying to simulate me with two blocks? No. Hmm. What if we hold one of these and then come back and then we got it? Maybe we need this somewhere? Like right there. Aha. Yep. Okay. So now we're going to go back in here, get that other one. Where to go? There it is. Come here, you. Love how you can teleport with the blocks. And you got to be careful you don't fall. It looks like nice, refreshing water. But I'm, I can't get over this, guys. This is actually a Game Guru game. Look at the textures. Look how good they look. You can tell glass. I mean, the shadows look nice. The frame rate is nice. And we walk in here level and complete. we just beat level four. Really, really nice. So... 
out of all the many dozens of shit Game Guru games I've played, guys, we finally have a really nice Game Guru game, and it is program. a puzzle game. Simulation is activated. And uh, we're going to put this here. That should open the door. There we go. We'll read the new message. One new message. Hi again. You're looking pretty good so far, but things will start to get more tricky from here on out. The protoscope system is designed to intensify its defense system and make you learn as you progress, giving you new obstacles to face along the way. I cannot uh, emphasize enough that none of this is real, so don't take anything you see for granted, and there are always solutions. Remember, protoscope's primary goal is to prevent you from entering the system uh, you would be trying to hack into, so remember everything you see and find as you may need it later on in the level. Uh, if you haven't already noticed, you can stand on most pads and they will activate their function. So you may be able to see what a particular pad does to help you on your way. All right. So, nice little message there. Got a couple of buttons. We got one of the blocks we need here. A couple of gray blocks and a dull green block. Okay, we're going to have to go through that portal again, aren't we? Let's go ahead and see what this does, if anything. It opens something. Oh, it opened this one. Okay. But we can't get to nothing there. Probably not going to be able to see what this does. It just opens that door. Okay. Oh, into the portal we go. All right. Blue block just hanging out here. Back into the portal we go. All right. Now we got a green block, and I believe that's going to go in there where the portal is. I think I saw one, a button for this. So now we can go get that other bright green block and put it there because the great but the bright green block opened the door to the uh right no well yeah we don't really need that door open because we can't even get to those things right now go through the portal here put this here Things are definitely getting more complex. What the hell? What did that do? Oh, it moved a wall back. Okay. Let's go back. So we're on the other side of where we were. This is just a portal to the other side of that wall. I do believe. Yeah, so see, now if we can open this, we can actually get these gray blocks. Um, uh, but we need the green block to do that. Hmm. Man, I am so confused, guys. We need this green block here. What does this do? Open the door. Yep. Okay, what happens if we put this here? It won't open that door. Okay. It is a green. We're not gonna be able to take this back here, are we? And use it to open that door. I mean, it is light green, but it's not dark green. What happened to it? There we go. 
Nope. Not gonna open that door for us. Well, crud. There's no more blocks. Wait a minute, we do have this block here. But that, you know, that ain't gonna help us. That has to stay there. Well, shoot, man. There's no button in there. I'm really confused right now, guys. Okay. Hmm. We don't have a... We need a black block and we can't get one, right? Yeah, I can't get that. Can't get to it. I am I am stumped right now, guys. What does this do if we Hmm Didn't think so, but well, shoot, guys, I am stumped with that one. You know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna go ahead and leave this for you guys, my viewers, because I am getting pretty long here. I'm over 30 minutes into this video, but as you can see, guys, we have a very good, a very well-made puzzle game. We also have a hole up there. I just noticed. Um, you know what, guys? I just figured something out. We can probably stack this here, take this here, we're not going to be able to jump up on there though are we? No. But can we jump up on one? Oops, wait a minute. No, I can't even jump. I can't even jump. Okay, I can jump, I just can't jump while I'm holding one. No. Well, I don't know, guys. I feel like this hole up here definitely is something... Yes, we need to be able to get up there or something. How, I don't know. Hmm. What if we uh, take this, put it over here, take this, let's put that one there. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work, but. Notice we couldn't jump while we're holding one, but oh, we also have, huh? Yeah, I don't know. This has got me stumped, guys. If we uh, pull this back out a little bit. I know somebody's going to be watching this and thinking, oh my god, Zach's just an idiot. Look how hard he's trying. I know, I already know I'm trying way too hard here. Oh no. Yeah, we can't get up there anyway. Well, I don't know, guys. Yeah, it looks like it's not enough. But anyway, that was worth a try, I guess. I just wanted to see if maybe there was another block we could have used up there, like a gray block right there, uh, up there. If we could only get up there, we'd find out. There's got to be a way up there. 
There's got to be or that hole wouldn't get there. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this to you guys. Remember, this is a completely free demo. The link is down in the description. If you guys uh, are like me and you were convinced that there, you know, it, it isn't possible to make a good Game Guru game, definitely check this demo out. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. This has been Zaxter99, and we'll see you in the next video, everybody. Take care.